So while I wasn't as big a fan of Jake Hooker's piece, I really was a big fan of Lumber Rob's performance uh, his style. And I'm, so I'm doing a, a review like he did his piece. I didn't get the full effect in his workshop, obviously, but in the performance. But the man, guy's manic in his performance. He's manically impressive. He pushes himself physically to the extreme. He's got this intensity about him. He's just sweating and sweating about halfway through the performance. The way he does it is he has these stories that he records, kind of like I'm doing right now. And then he uses those as his script. He listens to them while he tells the performance. It ended up being, uh, what did I call it? He leapt swiftly and sweatily between storytelling and beatboxing. He got the audience started out on a really good foot. He got them started out laughing. So he, he says that he tells stories like this in comedy clubs, and you can definitely see it because, but he started to lose me towards the middle because what he was doing, he started to do a mashup of disparate elements of uh, elements from different texts. I started to kind of zone out, blank out, daydream. I like it, but what needs to happen, it's good that he jumps between story and story and beatboxing. That really works, and it keeps you on your toes. But what I feel, you have to be able to follow the narratives. So each of these units has got to be its one narrative in its own right. It can be manic. It can be funny. It needs to be and can't be. It can't be like a mashup between Sojourner Truth, I Am a Woman, and a story about a sailor or, or something with these different pieces jumping back and forth between these disparate stories. Each unit has to be a complete unit in and of itself, complete story. So each of these units, if you've got these complete units, you can get away with what he does. And he did at the beginning and the end. It was uproariously funny. It was manically impressive. But the middle, that started to lose me. It started to lose me there.